There's, there was this uh, video that came out on the internet of this uh, standpipe in Minneapolis. There was a huge rainstorm and uh, water started surging out of the standpipe and a truck actually ran into the manhole cover after it came off. And uh, so that's, we, we tried simulating that and we think the reason was because at the exit point into the river uh, there was so much rain that the end of the pipe got covered up by the river and it made air travel back up through the pipe and that's the air, a huge air bubble formed and it, all the water back behind it got pushed out of the stand pipe. So this is our completed uh, project simulating the Minnesota water hammer event. It's kind of a model of, of the actual uh, pipe. Uh, what you're going to see is we'll open the valve down at the end. The whole pipe's going to fill up. We'll keep this valve closed until this three inch pipe is completely full. And then we'll open this up just a little bit to where water's flowing through and then shut it really fast. And what you'll see is that pipe standing up in the air down there, water will surge out of it. Throughout the experiments, we were turning this on and off to see if it had an effect on the water hammer that we created. And we found out that when we had this open, it really reduced the amount of uh, head we got out of the standpipe and it, it eliminated the second dairy and the, and the third impulses. We've done things like this other semesters uh, when tsunami hit. We uh, built a wave tank to examine the tsunamis. Um, when uh, the levees failed in New Orleans, we, we developed some experiments to try to find out why the levees were failing. And so we've, we've looked at things for Tuttle Creek to find out what they're doing with the Corps of Engineer with the grouting of the concrete and uh, why they have to do that. So it's just trying to figure out a little bit more about how water works. It's kind of a water experiment for the class.